Come to the stadium. There, Bozak will judge you. Damon here with IGN News. Warner Brothers has announced Dying Light, a first-person survival horror game with a heavy dose of action set in an open world. There's also an emphasis on Mirror's Edge style free running. You see your hands and feet as you run and can quickly hop over barriers and slide under walls. It's being developed by Techland, the folks behind Dead Island, and will be available next year for Xboxes 360 and 1, PlayStations 3 and 4, and PC. Warner Brothers says Dying Light features a portentous day and night cycle. After looking that word up, I can tell you they think they have an amazing new day and night cycle on their hands. During the day, players explore a large urban environment invaded by fast-moving undead. You'll scavenge for supplies and craft weapons with what you find. By night, the infected become more dangerous and threaten your chances of seeing another sunrise. Your character is also infected, giving you the ability to detect the most dangerous zombies. Weapons are fantastical, as in Dead Island. You can make an electric machete, for instance. Randomly generated side missions should make each player's experience unique. Warner Brothers describes Dying Light as an original gaming experience for next generation consoles. The CEO of Techland says, the next gen technology allows us to create a truly dynamic open world that features a game changing day night cycle. Inventive free running mechanics also allow for nearly unrestricted exploration and weapon crafting to further enhance the action survival experience. Expect more on Dying Light at E3 in just a few weeks. Until then, stay tuned IGN.